Hello, my name is Kristen Gilly and I'm a consultant with Evergreen Solutions. And today we are going to uh, talk about the um, compensation and classification study that Henry County Public Schools is currently conducting. So to give you a little background information about Evergreen Solutions, we are a national public sector consulting firm. Uh, we have worked in the majority of uh, the states and we've done over a thousand of these compensation and classification studies. We have extensive public sector human resources experience and we provide full service human resources consulting. So our expertise is in local governments, school districts and divisions, higher education institutions, state agencies and quasi-governmental organizations. The goals of our study are very simple. We are going to be reviewing the current classification and compensation system to ensure internal equity. We will also be conducting a salary survey of peer organizations to ensure external equity. And at the end, we will produce uh, recommendations to provide the division with a classification and compensation system that is equitable both internally and externally. So to set some expectations, please do not expect a staffing study. We are not looking at, um, for example, how many um, teachers the division should have. Um, we're also not looking at um, anything related to um, uh, performance evaluations. We're not looking at organizational review, uh, structure, anything like that. So this is strictly a compensation and classification study um, that will produce recommendations at the end. We also uh, do not guarantee any across the board employee salary increases, but what we do promise is that we will never recommend uh, decreasing an employee salary. So today I really want to go over the job assessment tool with you. Um, so this is a portion of the study that um, employees are asked to participate in. This is designed to gather information about each individual job. So the JAT is critical to this study. Uh, we use it to determine how work is organized, determine whether the organization is paying competitively and fairly. We also use it to recommend appropriate pay levels and ranges and to help us design a new system that is fair and equitable for all employees. So the JAT, once it is released, is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week during the active survey period. It can be done from any computer with internet access. You will receive an email um, that have your unique ID number in it. And it, the JAT will be available starting today, November 28, 2022. And it will be available to employees for two weeks. So with this unique ID number, you'll be able to log in and complete the job assessment tool. Um, after the two week period, the supervisors will have the opportunity to go in and review all submissions. And that will start immediately following the completion of the employee portion and will last for one week. So the job assessment tool collects information on the following. Uh, job overview, essential job functions, the type of work performed, education and work experience, the five job factors, which are leadership, working conditions, complexity, decision making and relationships, equipment and machinery and physical abilities. The way I like to describe the job assessment tool is if you were to write your own job description. So if you were to write a job description of your current position, what information would you include? How would you describe the job? What level of education and experience do you believe should be required? What uh, licenses and certifications do you believe should be required? So that's not necessarily what is currently required, but what you believe uh, would be beneficial to have. We use this job assessment tool to um, help us update job descriptions at the end of the study. So that is one reason why we asked um, what you think. You guys are the experts in this in your positions. So um, who knows better than uh, what should be required than you guys. So whenever you open the email that you'll get uh, with the uh, link and the job asset, your unique ID for the job assessment tool, when you click on the link, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. So you're going to enter your unique ID and your last name will auto populate. You will then click continue and the screen will appear. So during the employee portion, that first two weeks of the job assessment tool um, process, all employees will click on employee JAT, okay? The supervisor review function will not be available until after the all employees have had a chance to submit a job assessment tool. 
So once you click on Employee JAT, this next screen will appear and you can see the five sections of the JAT. So we're going to go through these in order. You can go, um, you can uh, do them as you wish. Uh, you don't have to go in order if you don't want. So let's first go into basic information. So basic information is going to look like this. It's going to ask you to write a brief overview of your job. So we're looking for one to two sentences. So think about your job description. At the top of every job description, there's typically a position summary or a brief uh, description of the position. Um, we're just looking for a quick overview. So if you had to tell someone in uh, 30 seconds or less what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, or what all what your job um, entails, what would you say? That's what I want you to put here. We're not looking for um, any lengthy response. Uh, the next part is going to ask you about supervisory responsibilities. So we're asking how many people you supervise directly and or indirectly. Next is going to be the type of work that performs, and you're just going to select the level that best describes that type. And then education and experience. So you're selecting the level that best describes how much education and experience a new hire should be required to have for your position. So this may not necessarily be how much is currently required. Uh, we're definitely not asking how much education and experience you have. We want to know how much a new hire should have coming into the role. And then we're asking you to list any licenses, certifications, or professional designations you believe should be required or preferred for your position. The next section is titled Essential Functions. And there are um, 15 places, 15 um, slots for you to um, type in your various tasks. So in the table provided, you're going to include all essential job functions that you perform. Um, for every function that you list, you can estimate the total percent of your time you spend on each function on an annual basis and check off the most important functions that you perform. So if you need to combine some functions, because I know some of us have uh, way more than 15 tasks that we, um, you know, are essential, um, you can combine some and just note that you are combining. The next section is job factors. So this is going to go through the five job factors. Um, every one of these, you're going to have um, a few different statements and we are asking you to select the one that is the closest match. So this is not a perfect system. Some of these may not um, fit you perfectly and that is totally okay. Select the one that is the closest match. Um, at the bottom of every single one of these is going to be a comment box where you can add additional information or if you wanted to tell us, you know, why you chose uh, this, um, that statement versus another one, that is totally fine. If you want to leave uh, the box blank, that's fine as well. As much information that we can gather, that is, you know, that's obviously what we're looking for. But for leadership, we're looking for your level of leadership in the organization overall. The next job factor is working conditions. So what type of working conditions does your position uh, require you to be in? Once again, you're selecting the closest match and adding any additional comments in the uh, comment box that will be provided. Then we have complexity. So what is the level of complexity that your position requires? Finally, decision-making. So what is the level of decision-making of your position in the organization overall? And then relationships. So are you working um, with less than 10 coworkers who are mostly engaged in the same activities as you are? Are there more than 10 coworkers who do the same um, type of task? Do you oversee and manage more than two employees in the organization performing similar work? Whatever your level is there, you're gonna select the closest match. And then of course, any comments that you have, you can provide below. The next section is equipment and machinery. This is just a uh, check all that applies. Um, if there are any that um, any equipment and machinery that you do use that is not listed, there is a comment box at the bottom of the section um, where you can add information. And then finally, physical abilities. So once again, you're going to indicate the type of work you perform on a permanent basis. Is it light work, medium work, heavy work? And you can read those descriptions. And then the required physical ability. So you're going to indicate um, all physical abilities you must have to perform your essential job functions. You can check all that apply. And if you are um, wondering, you know, what does, you know, for example, um, 
what do we mean by hearing one versus hearing two? If you hover over the green question mark, it will give you a description. And then you'll see uh, there is a save button at the bottom. There's going to be a save button on the bottom of every single section, and we encourage you to click that often. So some of our tips, once again, make sure you're saving at the end of every section. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out. Our email address for the job assessment tool is jat at consultevergreen.com. And then, of course, you have our phone number. You can give us a call and you will be directed to um, someone that is working on the project. So for supervisor review, um, let's talk about that real quick. So once again, after the employee portion closes, supervisors will have a week to go in and review. Um, so a supervisor cannot change any answers. They can only agree or disagree and provide additional comments. And once again, that is going to begin, uh, that review period begins immediately after the employee JAT entry is complete. So the supervisor review screen looks a little bit different. So you're going to have all of the folks that you supervise um, in little boxes and little tiles here. And then wherever you hover at the bottom of it, it'll actually say view details. And that's how you, um, you'll click on view details to go into the job assessment tool. So you can see here on there if the employee completed the JAT. If they did not, you can still go in and make comments if there's something that you feel should be added about that position. So it's going to look something like this. You'll be able to once again just agree or disagree and provide additional comments. Keep in mind, this is not an employee evaluation at all. So we're not asking you to evaluate the employee, but simply the, um, you know, the information that they are providing. We're making sure that it is accurate. Make sure they did not leave anything off. Um, if they did leave something off, please um, add that to the comment box. The supervisors also have um, access to the management issues tool. So this is where you're going to be able to go in and give us um, provide information about employees or classifications um, that may need to be looked at more closely. So if there's a job title for us to review that, um, you know, that maybe you oversee that potentially needs to be reclassified, um, you can put that here. Um, if you're talking about a specific employee, please put their name. And then any of the um, issues with that, you're going to be able to provide us comments. There's also a place for you to um, uh, any compensation or pay grade issues. And once again, just um, add comments as needed. So that is all uh, for today. Uh, once again, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to email us. That email address is jat at consultevergreen.com. Thank you all so much.